Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone's well. All right. I got three left to be done with November, and I still have to make Thanksgiving dinner today and put up my Christmas tree and clean my house. So we're just going to get to it. Mm. Taurus, you're up next. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message. Give me the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Just please keep in mind if it's not resonating with you, you can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Or if it's just plain not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. That's okay, too. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. That's how problems get started. That's how people get, in, get accused of things that aren't going on, and so on and so forth. So, time is fluid. This could have resonated at any point during the month of November. Or at any given time, really, because time is a man-made construct. Just add ne ask Neon. She'll tell you all about it. We have that conversation quite frequently, actually. Also, energy is fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fireside Tarot table. Pull up a chair. We're going to throw down some cards and have some fun. Okay. Taurus, why are you here? Three of Cups reversed. Disconnected from friends, possibly. From family. Could be disconnecting from a third party situation. Things aren't so harmonious right now, at the very least. We might throw a clarifier on that in a second. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Eight of Pentacles. They don't have the energy to give to this anymore. Either you don't or they don't. Somebody doesn't have the energy for this anymore. What do you think of them? Princess of Pentacles. Slow moving messages, slow moving energy, slow to build abundance. Could be an apology in her in her hand. I mean, hmm. You are disconnected after all. What do you want from them? Death in the reverse. Hmm. Could be change isn't happening. Hmm. Change that is necessary is not occurring, possibly. How do they feel about you? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Release. What do they think of you? Three of Pentacles upright. Taurus could be building the foundations for something new. Hmm. It's a second three. What do they want from you? Five of swords. They want to pick up the pieces. Hmm. Victory at a cost, perhaps. Hmm. We'll leave those for now. Universe, source, and spirits. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Taurus, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, November 2020. What's left of it? Messages come when they're supposed to, guys. 
Messages come when they're supposed to. Ten of Swords. Well, this disconnect is putting a painful cycle to an end. I think you're ready for it to end, Taurus. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? How the other, huh, how Taurus feels about the person they're dealing with. Four of Swords. You feel like they don't have the energy or the resources to put into this connection, but you feel like they're restless. There's an air of restlessness. But they can't put it to rest. One more. Five of cups reversed. Well, they're not sad about it, but they can't let it go. So they don't have the energy to put into it, but they're restless about it, but they're not sad about it. Why is the Princess of Pentacles here? I see. Eight of Pentacles. You think they concentrate a lot on work. Maybe that's why they didn't have the energy to put into it. Or they've harnessed all of that restless energy in concentrating on work. Maybe they're trying to build to have something to offer you. King of Pentacles reversed. Ah. They were not all that into bag of chips. But they're willing to work their butt off to work toward that stability, but it's just not there right now. Hmm. Why is death reversed here?
the Princess of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, something needs to change here. You want them to be able to make that offer. But they're not in control right now. You want them to regain that control. You want things to change. You want the situation to change. And it's not changing yet. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here for how the other person feels about Taurus? Knight of Cups reversed. <coughs> One more. Well, that's not happy. Pardon me. That's stuff in my way here. We're still working on, you know, redoing the house, so. <laughs> Lots of things are covered up and in my way. <sighs> it's a process. Ten of Cups reversed, Temperance reversed. They, you're not happy. They feel like you are not happy. Hmm. There's nothing in that cup for them that you have released this and there's a lot of negative energy here. Probably has something to do with this whole disconnect, just putting a painful situation to an end for you, Taurus. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for what the other person thinks of Taurus? Three of Pentacles talks about stable foundations. Page of Cups. And the Fool. This see was very trusting. Possibly almost childlike. I don't have a lot to offer you, but I have this cup. Quiet, childlike. It's not a steady foundation, though. Stability. It's the beginnings. Hmm. Why is the Five of Swords here for what the other person wants from Taurus? I don't like that. I don't know if this is picking up pieces or victory at the cost of someone walking away. Eight of Swords reversed. Well, they certainly don't want you to be all riled up about this. They want to be able to pick the pieces up. Six of Swords. They want to move forward. And five of Swords, Six of Swords. to pick up the pieces and move on from whatever happened. There's the potential for a steady foundation, but Taurus, I think you'd just soon end this and walk away. You don't see change coming anytime soon. You want them to be able to come in with a solid, stable offer and not be so out of control. What's the disconnect here? What's the challenge? Eight of Swords. Somebody's overthinking this. Okay. That makes sense. Somebody's very wrapped up in the future, possibly. 
what kind of future are we going to have? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, sometimes the sword of honesty knocks cups over. Yeah. Sometimes that page of swords can be a little bit quick to speak and sometimes it hurts. What's the possible resolution for Taurus? Nine of Pentacles, independent. Four of Cups. Oh no. Contemplate, think about it. Find independence. Get your crap together. Somebody needs to really contemplate and chew hard on this. Ace of Swords. Maybe y'all just need to disconnect for a while and not communicate. I mean, you're already doing it. You're already disconnected. It might benefit you to just see what happens with time. Possible outcome, High Priestess reversed. Egos, 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 I don't like it. Why the High Priestess reversed? Unacknowledged connections. Somebody having their ego in the way. the hermit, finding the inner light to guide you on your path. One more. Hi, where'd you go? Five of swords, victory at a cost, picking up the pieces. All right, Taurus, let's get your advice. This was just another one of those readings. I actually, when I started having problems with the Chromebook the other night, I had gone all the way through your reading, and the camera was still rolling, but when I went to upload, it only caught like three minutes of it, which was super weird. I'm like, did the camera stop three minutes into this? Or, I don't know, but it's a similar message. It definitely is a similar message. All right, let's get your advice. Queen of Cups reversed, Six of Wands reversed. If you don't allow yourself to feel this or deal with the emotions that are attached to it, you'll never have that moment of victory. Be mindful of the option that you choose because not all paths lead to ultimate happiness. Ten of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups upright. But ultimately you have to do what's going to make you happy in the long term, not just the moment.
King of Cups reverse, Ten of Pentacles. I love it when the decks say the same stinking thing. If you allow yourself to remain emotionally closed off from this and not process the emotions involved with it, you will never seek your abundance. Three of Swords, Five of Wands. Don't fight the heartache. Okay. Taurus, it's up to you what you do with it. Um, from the beginning, we said, you know what? You just assume end a painful cycle. So it's up to you what you do with it. It's your journey, not mine. I just threw down some cards. But let me know if it resonated. It's another one of those crazy readings. Thanks for stopping by on this beautiful Thanksgiving day here in the States. I think it finally, it never really stops raining in the woods, I don't think. And I'm far enough back into the trees where it rained all night long. So I, I can still hear the water tapping on the roof of my house. So anyway, it is what it is. For the rest of us around the world, have a beautiful day. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully the December reads will be up by the end of the weekend. I didn't want to read cards on my birthday on Sunday, but I got to do what I got to do. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.